Hey guys, so I am here with a haul to show you what we bought on our trip. As you can see, <laughs> Maisie's feet are in this video. It's hilarious. Um, she is in the living room here. Anyways, let's get started. Um, so the first thing is I kept... <laughs> the packaging um for the raspberry cordial i'm thinking of uh cutting this out to put in a scrapbook um and then i also kept the bottle of raspberry cordial as well as the bottle cap from it um i kind of had thought it would have been cool i didn't even think about it until it was too late but um, I thought it would have been cool to fill it with red sand from one of the beaches. And then I could have like glued this back on top. I thought that would have looked cool. But I didn't think about it until after the fact. Um, okay. And then also I collected a couple of stones from the beaches. So I think this was... This one I first got uh, at Delvey Beach, I believe. And then the next one I got was just a really small, thin one. And this one came from Cabot Beach. So the two beaches that were filming locations. Um, here comes Riley. Riley, what are you doing? <laughs> And from the private beach near our cabin, there was tons of these super big shells. Like I've never seen shells this big on a beach before. So I decided to pick one and I picked this one up and it was like really sandy. So I had to wash it out before I brought it home. Otherwise it would have got sand all over everything. Um, what else? Oh, these, <laughs> I don't think we showed these in our vlogs. Uh, on our first day in PEI, we went to the Orwell Village, and when we were there, <laughs> we made candles. They had, like, an activity going on where you could make your own candles, and they're, like, super thin and, like, really wonky looking, <laughs> but, um, yeah, basically, you just had to take the wick and dip it in I think it was like animal fat and then cold water and you just had to keep going like back and forth between the two to build it up now unfortunately it looks like both of them got cracked on our way home in our suitcase even though I wrapped them up really well the thinner part here cracked so I think they'll just be going in the memory box <laughs> um Let's see. So I bought this cute little plush Anne Shirley at one of the shops. I forget which one now is. I mean, like there were so many Anna Green Gable shops everywhere. Um, I may have got this at the Heritage Place. And I just decided to get it. It's supposed to be a keychain, but I'm probably going to, I'm thinking of cutting the chain part off and making it just like a little toy for the babies because I thought it was really cute really nice and small um, so I mainly got that for the babies and Riley <laughs> hey what are you doing go <laughs> oh my god um let's see what else Okay, so these are some candles that we bought at the, when we went to that artisan shop in Summerside. So I got the vanilla Cassis. It smells really good. I liked it. So we got that one. Um, and Alex got this one that's called Tabasco and Peppercorn. And so we got those at that artisan shop that we went to in Summerside before leaving the island. 
Um, let's see, we got some keychains. And this one isn't from PEI. This one we got in Nova Scotia. This is Alex's keychain because he collects keychains. And he also got this one in PEI. It's like silver with a gold lighthouse. And I grabbed this one. This is Green Gables House. I thought it was pretty cool. And then we've got... Oh, I bought myself some new earrings since now I can wear earrings again. Um, these are nickel free, which is perfect. So I got three pairs. I got these purple butterflies because A, lupus awareness, and B, they're so Taylor Swift lover era that it was perfect. And then I also bought these. I thought these were really pretty. They're flowers with little stems. And I think these can be wear, worn as like the cuff style earrings that people are wearing these days. Or they can be worn as like dangles. So those are pretty. And then I got these dangly earrings. And they're all nickel free, which is perfect for me. Because I'm allergic to nickels. So I have to be careful with what kind of earrings I wear. And then I got these two keychains and I haven't decided which one I'm keeping for myself. One is for myself and one is going to be a gift for a friend of mine, but I haven't decided yet which one. One is, um, they're pretty much the same character of Anne Shirley. It's like an animated Anne Shirley. And this one is metal and then this one's kind of like um, a rubbery type. And they're super cute. She's got a little cat at her feet. Super adorable. Um, so one's for me and one's for a friend, but I have, I have to decide which one I'm keeping. Um, I got myself an Anne of Green Gables magnet for our fridge. And I also got a Prince Edward Island magnet because it had the, uh, lupin flowers on it, which I loved seeing there. So I thought that was really cool. And then move these out over here because I got to show you what's in this bag. Oh, and then these are some magnets we got in Nova Scotia. Again, um, I'll be keeping one and giving one away to someone, but I haven't decided which one I want to keep yet. Um, let's see. Before I open the bag, I got two pens. This one has green gables. And it has Anne sitting on a blanket and she's surrounded by lupin flowers and she's looking at Green Gables. And then the other one, it says Anne of Green Gables on it and it's got the Green Gables house, but then it also has um, the shoreline with the red sands around it. So... I thought they were super cute. I go through pens a lot. So I also bought Anne of Green Gables raspberry tea. And over here, this is so cool. I can't wait to use these at Christmas. I got Christmas tree ornaments. So there are little Christmas tree balls and one of them has the Green Gables house um, and it has, I'm not sure what that is supposed to be right there, maybe part of the window or something, um, but there's flowers and trees and like a field and stuff and then it's got the Green Gables house, so I thought that was pretty and That'll be great to go in our tree. I don't know why I haven't thought to look for Green Gables ornaments before. Um, and then this one, I love, 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 love this one because it's got Anne Shirley and Diana Berry walking on the red sand shore. They're holding hands, um, kindred spirits. They're so cute. And it actually says on the back, kindred spirits it's really beautiful so I was like I gotta get both 
because one shows the Green Gables house and one shows Anne and Diana. So that was perfect. Um, going into this bag, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So I got a whole bunch of postcards because I really love to collect postcards when I go to places. This is the card for the Anne of Green Gables store. And they do have some things on their website that you can order. Not everything that was there in person though. But there it is, annstore.ca. And I can tell you if um, you're interested in the tree ornaments, you can get those on their website. So if you're an Anne of Green Gables fan and you want those Christmas tree ornaments, you can get them there. So I got the series of postcards, their paintings, and I'm thinking of framing these and making like a little trio um, because this one has Matthew Cuthbert and Anne Shirley on their carriage ride to Green Gables and it even has like the white way of delight flowers and everything it's really pretty so there's that one and then I got this one that is basically that picture that was on that pen it's Anne sitting on a quilt looking at Green Gables and then there's this one that's like the tree ornament and it says kindred spirits and it's got Anne and Diana Berry. So I was kind of thinking of like framing these cause they're small, they would be small frames. Um, and then doing a trio, but I would have to see if I could find frames small enough. Cause usually the smaller frames don't have like a part to mount them with so I'm not really sure if it'll work out but I'm gonna try to see what I can find because these are basically like four by six they're really tiny um, I also got this postcard that says Anne of Green Gables and it's this isn't a painting it's an actual person dressed as Anne walking down a long dirt road and I just thought it was really pretty I may or may not keep it. I might actually send this to my sponsor child or maybe a friend, another friend of mine that's an Anna Green Gables fan. I haven't really decided on that yet. I also got Cape Tryon since we were there. Um, I may or may not keep this one as well. I might send this to my sponsor kid because um, I mean I did take a picture of Cape Tryon myself so and then I got these from the Anne of Green Gables Museum. So this is the outside of the museum. And then you've got this one and it shows the museum, the carriage ride we took, um, more outside of the museum. I think this is like the gardens area and then the farmer fields nearby. I just realized this is the same picture as this. So I'll probably give this one away and keep this one because it has the four pictures on it. So actually, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to put that aside to share with a friend or my sponsor child. And then this one, I don't know. I'm going to think about that. This one is also from the museum. It's a shot of the carriage ride. And you've got the museum house there and then the little farm house type thing. I thought that was pretty. This is another shot of the museum and this one's got the organ that was used at her wedding. It's got the enchanted bookcase so I thought that was cool. I wanted to have all those on there. This is a postcard from Ellen Montgomery's birthplace so it shows little bits of it. And then there's a Green Gables postcard that's in a cool shape. It's the house. And then this one is giving you like the overview of the whole Green Gables heritage place. Again, like some of these I may end up deciding to pass along to other people. I may not keep all of them. But I gotta go through them and make decisions. This one I'm definitely keeping because it's so pretty. I loved seeing all the lupins there. And then this is a classic <laughs> uh, 
Prince Edward Island sand dune. I really liked this picture. And then this was super cute. We kept seeing this all over the island, but they were usually like these really large prints, like framed prints of this. So when I finally found a postcard of it, I was like, I gotta get this because it was like this cute little fox, which is adorable. And then I also got some postcards of the Confederation Bridge because I thought they were really cool shots of it. And we didn't really get any pictures of the bridge from a distance. So I thought these were really great views of what the bridge looks like. This is exactly what we went across. Um, this is from Peggy's Cove in Nova Scotia. I got a couple of them from Peggy's Cove, so again, I might keep one or two and pass on the others. Now this is, um, I didn't realize it until after, but this is actually the same picture. Whoops. Whoops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the same picture that's on this magnet, and so I'm almost tempted to just keep the magnet instead and then pass on the postcard um, and then in that case if I kept the magnet I wouldn't keep this one but I really like this one because it looks really cool so I don't know I have to decide what I'm going to do with that and then oh this is another cool thing that I bought so when we were at um, the birthplace of Ellen Montgomery they were telling us that she wrote the island hymn for Prince Edward Island and they actually had a copy of it there that you could purchase and it was only like a dollar I think it was um, so I purchased it and it was really cool because they were able to stamp it with her actual signature or autograph and it, I thought it was really cute because it also has like a little cat attached to it which was adorable um, so this is the island him and then they also like stamped it with the official birthplace kind of logo thing. So I thought that was really cool and it just gives the history of it. And so it was um, written in 1908 and it even gives you like the music notes for it. And then all the lyrics are down here. And then there's even more like information on the back. So I was like, oh, it was like only a dollar. And I thought it would be cool to have. And then I think the rest of these are just um, brochures I was holding on to from the museums and things like that. Because I was thinking like if I do a scrapbook, I want to have those to put in there. So let me just move these out of the way. Um, oh, I also did get these two postcards specifically for my sponsor child. One shows um, a map of the whole island. And then this one is another view of the Confederation Bridge. So those are for her. And then finally, we have these four more items here so these top two were purchased at the last minute uh, right after we took our Anne of Green Gables dress up photos <laughs> um, we looked around the shop there and they had these really oh she taped it can I get it I don't know if I can get it. Um, so we went and we're looking around the shop there because I wanted to see if they had anything different. And they had all these beautiful um, ornaments of Anne of Green Gables. And one particular set was reduced. So they had... These are usually $10 each and they had them down to five and they had both Anne, Marilla and Matthew. Now you could get like a deal if you bought all three of them as a set, but 
I didn't like the way they had painted Marilla and Matthew because one, I forget which one, but one of, out of the two looked mad and then the other one looked sad. So I was like, why does Marilla and Matthew look mad and sad? I was like, no, I think I'm just going to get Anne. <laughs> if they had have had them done nicer, I would have got them as a set because it would have been really cute to have them all. And now this has styrofoam that's probably going to get all over the place. Oh my goodness, how do I get this out? Okay, oh, I'm going to have to pick up all of that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is her here. And I figured for five, $5, it was pretty good. It even has, like, the things out in the bottom. So here she is. It's Anne Shirley. Look at her face. I really thought it um, was cute. I'm just waiting. There we go. You can see her little freckles, her eyes are cute, she's got the braids, and the dress, and then she's got her little hat down here. She's in front of a tree stump, and she's got a butterfly in her hand. And I thought she was so sweet, and the price was right. <laughs> it wasn't too expensive, because some of the other ornaments they had there that weren't on sale, like, they were really expensive some of them were gosh I don't know some of the bigger ones were almost a hundred dollars each so I was like okay five dollars I can do that um and then I also got <clears throat> excuse me I also got this um sun catcher and it's a, it's that picture again of Anne and Diana walking on the beach and it says kindred spirits. So at least like if I can't figure out how to frame the other ones, I'll have this to hang up. It's really pretty. And then the last two items, I decided to bring back something for Miss Gracie. I got her because they didn't have anything in any smaller sizes than six months. And this looks like a large six months. It'll fit her. And it's a pink top, short sleeve. It says Anne of Green Gables. And like Anne's hat is all sparkly. And then she's got these pink sparkly bows sitting on a fence. And again, it's got the lupins in there. And it says Prince Edward Island. So I thought I'd bring her back a little souvenir. Since um, her birthday was coming up and actually... I think today, the day that I'm filming this is, or no, her birthday is in two days from now, from when I'm filming. Um, and then I got myself a shirt when we were in the Anna Green Gables store in Charlottetown, because I had been looking everywhere for like an adult size shirt, and they, nowhere I went had anything like the shirt that I got Grace that actually has Anne on it. Um, so the next best thing was I really liked the color of this shirt and it's like a nice light fabric t-shirt and it just has in the corner it's embroidered with um, the Green Gables house and it says Green Gables house Prince Edward Island so I just decided to get that as a shirt and it feels like it's really comfy and everything and it fit me quite nice so yeah, so there you have it, guys. That is my Prince Edward Island in Nova Scotia haul. As you can see, most of the shopping was done in Prince Edward Island um, because I was getting my Anna Green Gables geek on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed all the videos from our trip, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul from this trip I'm excited I gotta find a place to put her it's like a really light ornament it's not heavy at all um, and I can't wait to put the tree ornaments on because <laughs> I don't know about you guys but Christmas is probably gonna be here before I know it and that's really sad to say but <laughs> it is like it's almost August already 
I can't believe that. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And again, hope you enjoyed the video of our trip. And we'll see you next time. Bye!